my name is Clara if you're new here and this is the beginning of my Microsoft slash interview series where I would like to tell you what was the Microsoft internship like and how I got there. For the legitimacy I took uh, this so you believe me. I worked there and I didn't steal this on the reception. <laughs> Uh, no, just kidding. This is one of the few merch Microsoft gave me, but otherwise it was a fun experience and I want to make another video about the whole experience, but this will be just about the interview. I watched a lot of these videos before I got to the whole interviewing process and they helped me a lot. So I thought why not to give back to the community and share my tips and the whole experience as well. So the whole interviewing process was intense. It was basically four parts. First the CV, then the coding challenge, then getting to know you call and then the final four, four rounds interview. It was something else because I've never done interviews before. Uh, this was really intense. I had to prepare a lot and this is how I do it. Without further ado, let's get into the steps. So the first thing is the CV. I don't have that much to say about the CV part, just maybe don't do it in Worth. Uh, and this is kind of sad because it's Microsoft product. <laughs> but it, it's great, but I don't think it's good for CV making. There's a lot of softwares and tools online which are more design and user experience pleasing. Uh, for example, I use Overleaf. I will link it down below. It has a lot of CV templates and in short, be brief. For example, my CV has only one page, but the most you should uh, write is two. Use bullet points, don't use whole sentences. Speak about your experience related to the internship or write about your extracurricular activities. They might be quite handy and they help you outstand from other candidates. And as much as you want to write about your summer ice cream selling jobs, don't put it there. You can tell them at the coffee break once you get there. <laughs> Part two was coding challenge. And to be honest, I didn't prepare for this that much because I heard it's not that hard and it actually wasn't. There was a lot of time for you to complete the tasks. Uh, but if you haven't coded for a while, then I would suggest to practice it. Uh, I will speak about it more when I get to the fourth part of the interview process. I think if you ha have some coding experience, this should be okay. Uh, what I want to see in this part is your general coding skill set and your practices, basically. Uh, the third part was the first call with an actual person. <laughs> I am calling this getting to know you call because they are asking you about your background, about your experience, why you decided to come to Microsoft and they will also ask you one technical and one logical question. Uh, you can study some software or hardware basics for the technical question, but I don't think you can prepare for this as much. And it wasn't that hard, it's just... I think this call is mainly formality and to see that you're not some chatbot. <laughs> but the fourth part. That was something else. I was very stressed about this and I watched millions of videos like these. A uh, few of these videos, these interviews were actually in person. Well, I did my whole interviewing process in COVID times, so it was fully online. And I personally think that Microsoft will do this for the other interviews as well, because I think it's more efficient, plus a lot of the managers work remotely. So I think this way it might be more efficient for Microsoft, but you can let me know in the comments if you did the whole in-person experience with your interview. So how this works. Every one of these four managers ask you behavioral questions and then a coding question. So first let's talk about behavioral questions. 
You can find a lot of pages with these behavioral types of questions online. I can link some of them down below. What you should do is to study Microsoft and its products. I mean, you probably don't have to know when was Microsoft established, but you should think about which products you like, which you don't and why, what would you do better, what features you would add, etc. because they might ask you about this. Then think about the projects you've done in the past, for example, in school. Think what was your role, what didn't go well and so on, because they might ask you, I probably will ask you this. I mean, you probably can't find every possible question they might ask you. So it's just about the practice, about getting to know the patterns of these questions and practice them out loud. Listen, I am Czech and I was interviewing for Prague location, but even though one of these interviewing managers was Czech, I had to speak English and you'll probably speak English during your whole internship as well. So practice these questions out loud in English. They want to see your thinking process, if you're open-minded, positive, how you react, etc. So you might practice these beforehand. The second part is the coding part and that's what I was afraid the most. I practiced I think for almost three weeks. So for the coding part, I did this mainly on lead code. I will link it down below. There's a lot of sets of questions. There are easy ones, medium and hard. And I did, I think, all of the easy ones and then almost all of the medium ones. And it was enough, <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, the coding questions uh, in the interview are not that hard. They just want to see your thinking process and if you can express your thoughts and if you can think maybe also about the complexity, etc. And if you had course on data structures and algorithms, that's good for you. If you haven't seen these uh, things before, then definitely look at them. Even though I only got one question about it, I think it's a good idea to study this. Because if you don't know terms like complexity, sorting algorithms, trees, then it's good to prepare. <laughs> During the interview itself, when you get the problem, I suggest starting with some brute force naive solution and then explain why this might not be the best solution, how it can be done better, and they will really see your thinking about it and they will like you even more. <laughs> After these questions, the manager will ask you if you have any questions on them. And I suggest to prepare these beforehand as well. I mean, you can always ask how they like working for Microsoft, which team they are in, and if you vibe with them, and if you like the project they are working on, you can ask them if you could join their team, and it's possible you might end up there. So definitely ask and be curious. <laughs> And the last part is to prepare yourself mentally. It's very stressful, especially the day where there are these four rounds and if you've never done this before, it can be stressful. So sleep well the night before and be nice to yourself. If you will follow my tips, uh, it will be much smoother for you and you will succeed. And that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments if you've done the interviews before and what was your experience like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!